I saw people do this quiz on Twitter yesterday, okay? And so I thought we could uh, see together what my mental age is. Um, from this quiz. Yeah? What do we think? Okay. The best way to become rich is to... Ooh, okay. To win the lottery. To work hard. To become a footballer. Get lucky. Number one. Okay. See, the thing with number one is that... A lot of people don't use the lottery money correctly. They will go and they will splash it all. I saw a TikTok the other day of someone whose partner had won the lottery. And, but guess what? They'd only won 10,000. Now, 10K is a great little sum of money to add on top of whatever you've got, right? Put it into savings, whatever that. But like, it's not a life-changing amount of money. A life-changing amount of money nowadays is a lot, right? It's a lot, a lot. It's like hundreds, thousands or whatever. And so this guy had a call from his girlfriend being all excited that they won 10,000 as they should be. But you know what this guy did? He went, he quit his job. He bought an expensive watch. He bought flowers for her. And they went out to a nice dinner to celebrate. And he got mad that she was mad at him. And he goes, you can at least pay for the watch though, right? <laughs> and she was like, what? Yeah, no, he didn't win 10K. She won 10K. His girlfriend won 10K wasn't even his money and like the title of this reddit story was that he was um mad that his girlfriend wouldn't share her winnings bro like little bro quit his job after the real like, like thinking about 10k and then bought some expensive stuff with her oh, yeah. well-earned money from doing the lottery every single week and then it was mad that she wasn't going to share it, which like, what? Tonova, thank you for the 32 bucks. Thank you. And I thought it was a crazy story. And then I can't remember how it ended, but she was obviously like, this is 10K. I'm already putting it in my savings. Like I want it in my savings, like because I am, I'm doing a degree and like all I want is to be able to be able to like just pay for stuff in a, in a good way, right? And he was, he was really dumb. It, honestly, I think it, she it, she honestly probably dodged a bullet if she got out of that because he also in the story was like, I find it hard to hold down jobs because of my mental health, which fine, valid. But like then at the first opportunity, he'd managed to hold down this job for three months and then decided to quit it for 10K. I'm sorry, how do you, how do you look at 10K and think, oh my God, life changing, let's go on this expensive holiday. Like also, that's also what they did. So when they went out to dinner, he starts going to her, let's go on that nice expensive holiday that we've always wanted to go on. And she's like, bro, I don't want to spend this money on an expensive holiday. Like it's not enough. Like I want to put it in my savings and do this and that. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, might be a math problem too, but maybe, maybe. But yeah, I thought it was a crazy story. I, I think she, I think she went and stayed at her mum's house. I, I'm not sure if she dumped him in the end, but like, poor lady. That's crazy. That's crazy. So chat, I have a question for you guys. If your partner won money, okay, would you expect uh, them to share it with you? Let me go on full screen for this for now. No, depends how much, depends if married, okay. No, not really, depends, depends on partnership. Yeah, I agree. I think it's like, only if they want to. Yeah, I think that's valid, yeah. It'd be different as say yes, classic. Just a relationship, no, married, yes. Okay, let's say you've been in a relationship for 10 years with this person, not married, but together for 10 years. Would you then share it with them? That kind of class is the same as marriage. 
Depends if you want paying for stuff before. Still not married. Yeah, no. That's our money then. Mm. Also, bear in mind in this story that um, the guy took the piss out of her for doing the lottery every week and then still had the audacity to complain that she wasn't sharing the money with him. Sorry, that was a little note of the story that I forgot. But yeah, I know. Isn't it crazy? He was always, apparently he always took the piss out of her. <sighs> they love you, they will share, but you're not entitled to their money. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good way to put it, actually. I mean... It really just depends if they, you know, it depends on the, on the lifestyle before, I guess, as well. And, and what you want to do with it. And the thing is, what I'm thinking is if you, um, if you know your partner, then you're going to know what they want to put that money into. You know what I mean? Like if let's say your partner has always said, I want to build up this money and I want to buy a house one day. You know what I mean? And they're probably, they should automatically know that they're just going to put it into like a, into a, into a savings account or whatever. Will still be a no for you. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so that is the reason why I am not, I, I don't want to pick the lottery in the best way to come rich. Now, obviously, so we're doing a mental age test. So obviously, um, I, 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 me personally, if I won the lottery, yes, that could make me rich. But that being said, have any of you ever just won one quid on the lottery? 10 quid? 10K? That's not the best way to become rich because the, the lottery winnings is not necessarily millions and thousands, which would be life-changing and whatever. So lottery is out for me. Nope, out. Because I think that lottery actually makes you lose more money because it's pure luck and you have to get very lucky to be able to actually get a life-changing amount of money. So it's basically a gamble. It is. It's basically a gamble. So, um... <clears throat> oh, you've won on, on betting on matches. Mm. I mean, it's all a gamble in one way. I think I've like maybe won five quid from it once before. Um, you got 40 in this? Actually, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Can't buy <you. sighs> Okay, to work hard. To work hard, yes. I mean, it's obviously very vague, but for me, I do agree to work hard is to help you to become rich it, it definitely helps to become a footballer sure but like it's i feel like to work hard is better than to become a footballer because you can work hard to become a footballer and then become a footballer and footballers footballers do get like paid extortionate amounts which is ridiculous but like i don't really care for football so i don't want to be a footballer um get lucky you make your own luck okay i think you make your own luck and to an extent okay um so I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't sit and chat in Russell's stream and I didn't put myself out there for Among Us. You know what I mean? Like that was where my luck was and that's why I'm here today. And I'm very, very thankful for that, you know? So, but in order to get lucky, I worked hard. So I'm going to work hard. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Life is fun. What you make it all about family. What you make it. I think when you make it because life cannot be fun sometimes i mean like let's be real right like <laughs> the younger made you yep that's right dire straits were who oh <laughs> i don't know who dire straits are <clears throat> this is gonna give me a younger age isn't it i bet these are an old band what year was this band are they like 80s? Hair Guitar Heaven? What year were they? 80s, 70s? Maybe 70s? Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, McDonald's. Okay, you know I love McDonald's. A good place to meet. Okay, for a quick snack. Disgusting, nice and warm. Okay, I'm not sure about these options. Um, I like McDonald's personally. A good place to meet. Okay for a quick snack. Nice and warm. I don't know, but it's not always nice and warm. I, I but it's not I also have it for dinner sometimes if I have it. I guess I guess okay for a quick snack. Nice and warm. It's not always nice and warm though. I feel like that's a lie. I mean, I did used to meet at the Mackies all the time, actually. We'd be like, let's let's meet at the Mackies. Oh, fuck it, I'll do number two. 
You finish your meal in a restaurant. You make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. Order coffees. Empty the tray into the bin. Ask whether a tip is included. Wonder which pub to go to. I make sure I go to the toilet before I leave. <laughs> Dude, I like going to restaurants, but I'm gonna be honest. By the time I finish my meal, I'm so ready to go home, pop open my jeans and let that like fucking pop belly pop out because it's full of up as fuck because I've eaten as much as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna go and sit in front of the fucking TV, play a game or do whatever, I don't know. So yeah, I make sure I go to the toilet and I bugger off home. <laughs> Yep. No, nah, I don't want to go to the pub. I'll just take a drink at home, you know? I'll just pff, drink at home. Look, I'm not much of a... I'm not a party goer. I'm going to be honest. I, I like a good party. I had some fun during uni and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I'm not like a... Yeah, nah. nah. I don't really like the pub that much, I'll be honest. If I go out, I'd rather a nightclub than a pub. I don't know nowadays. Like, maybe it would change, but... Anyway, you've forgotten where you put your keys. Maybe once in the last year, never I keep them attached with this handy chain. Twice already today, rarely I was in the same place. Rarely. I actually always keep my keys in pretty much the same place. And if not, I normally remember where I put them. I'm, I'm very much like always checking all my shit and making sure. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Um, Miley Cyrus is <laughs> like so over, a bit racy, quite good looking. Everything that's wrong with kids today, a victim. Um, none of the above. I mean, like, she's, okay, look, look, she's not really my type, so I don't, I wouldn't really like, a victim, I don't know, a victim of what? <laughs> I guess out of all of these number three though, like, cause I don't really agree with any of them. Weird. Victim of Disney producers. Oh, of the Disney. Pro oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of Disney um kids actually got quite fucked up for being. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, but I'll stick with this one. Was racy like um like they're saucy, they're spicy. They're like I don't know, wearing something like wearing no clothes in the video or some shit like lewd yeah that's the, that's it yeah like a lewd provocative there we go thanks chat you got me all right you get passed on the motorway by a ferrari you think sweet bet the driver is a wanker they'll not get there any quicker not surprising you're only going 50. i'd probably say bet the driver is a wanker honestly yeah <laughs> like bro I, I, look if i saw a ferrari out on about i'd be like cool car but if they like speed past me on the freeway, I'm gonna be like, you're a fucking dickhead. Like stop trying to fuck. But maybe also a bit of number one. <laughs> I'm like, that's a cool car. <laughs> but more so they're a wanker. All right, the iPad is revolutionary, a pointless gadget, expensive, cool, something which helps prevent embarrassing moments. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, number three, for sure. The current prime minister president looks too young, okay, old. Who is it again? <laughs> oh, it's Rishi, yes. Um. I don't really care. I guess okay. I I I I don't, I don't really know. It kind of none of the yeah none of the above. I guess okay though. He's not really old, is he? Like he's just kind of like middle age. Politically, you are. I'm not sure I want to answer this one. <laughs> um. Oh God. Conservative, green, liberal, socialist. Uh. I don't know <laughs> dude it, it, okay you know what i do whenever a political um like a vote comes up i'll go onto that website that's like it shows you all of the fuck i'm gonna forget the word it 
I just thought motive policies. That's the word. Yeah, all of their policies. Uh, it doesn't show which policy is which um, party, but then I'll go through and I'll pick which ones I agree with, and then it normally tells me at the end. And normally, um, what are the two main parties? It's not liberal, is it? Well, there's another word. Wait, why am I why am I forgetting these things? Labour. Is Labour the same as Liberal? Why isn't Labour on here then? Is Labour the same as any of these? <laughs> Labour was socialist? Yeah, Conservative is a Tory. Labour is socialist liberal? Right, okay. More socialist leaning. I honestly am struggling to pick up one from here. It probably end up being one of the bottom two because normally, but recently, I my um my agreements have been with more sided on the on on that's on the labour side. I don't know what it's like now though. It constantly changes. I mean, you got eight. Ooh, I guess I'll just pick. Wait, let me define socialist. Gosh, I don't know. Person who advocates... Okay, I don't know what socialism is. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> a political and economic theory of social organization which advocates the means of production, distribution, and exchange and should be owned by or regulated by the community as a whole. Oh, okay, okay. Liber liberal. Willing to respect or accept behavior opinions from one's own open to new ideas. I think I'll just go liberal. That sounds, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Aldo. New Labour is just conservatives, right? Really? That sucks. You know what sucks about politics is that you're really choosing the lesser of two evils because none of them are that fucking great. <laughs> fucking stupid fucking website. Fucking website. <laughs> She works in the moment and then we get later. Oh, it changed. Great, I answered a question I didn't need to answer. All right, it's hot. You want an ice cream, you buy a Magnum, a cone with a chocolate flake, an ice lolly. Ooh. I think it's either a cone with a chocolate flake or a Magnum. I think Magnum. I love a good Magnum. Magnums are fucking great. An ice lolly. An ice lolly is just basically like a long lolly that's made of more ice, fla flavored ice, basically. Um, but yeah, I think Magnum. So my ice lollies are really good, but yeah. All right, the best thing on TV is Big Bang Theory, The Simpsons, Family Guy, Love Island, X Factor, Nature Documentaries. There's never good anything on a TV. I fucking hate TV. <laughs> All righty. You read Apple have launched a new iPhone, you think? Not another one already. I want one now. Do the batteries last a long time? What's the point? A phone is a phone. Not another one already. That's what I say. Stupid fucking thing. McDonald's is. Okay, for a quick snack. You find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You can't believe you ever wore that and throw it out. Keep it for decorating. Consider giving it to charity. Put it on. Wonder how you ever managed to fit in it wardrobe. I put it on. Bro, if I find something new, I'm like, ooh, old new clothes that everyone's going to think is brand new, but like is maybe not brand new. And but like I can wear it on stream and they will think it is. So that I put it on and see if it will work. <laughs> Yes. Okay, baseball caps look better forwards, backwards. Backwards, you look like a fucking plonker, so forwards. Politically, oh, we already did this. Uh, what did I pick? I'll just pick that one again. I think that was that one. The iPad is expensive. Birthdays are a time to meet the family, a time to get wasted, a time for presents, something to ignore, thank you. Um... What's my consistence? What's the consi I think I think number number two. <laughs> I think I'm going to I think as the years go on, I'm gonna lean to number four. But because I stream, um I normally have drinks on stream. You guys got me presents last year, but normally I don't really care much for presents. So time to get wasted. <laughs> 
Uh, you think a pension plan is not what you thought it would be. Important, something worth considering, something for later. I think something worth considering. It, it is, it is important. Um, and therefore, I think everyone should consider it. I think two or three works fine for that one. Oh, we're just going to go with that one. We're nearly there. Twitter is confusing, essential, pointless, annoying. It makes me, uh, it wakes me up in the morning. Okay. Um, pointless. <laughs> See, okay. You guys are all saying pointless. You know what? Look, here's the poll. Oh. <laughs> Look, guys, number three has been written 40 times in this poll. <laughs> I might need to change that and crop it a little bit. Um, anyway, um, I think, okay. The thing for me, the reason why I'm not putting pointless is if I wasn't a streamer, I would, um, I would put pointless and maybe confusing because when I first got Twitter, when I was in school, I had no fucking clue what the hell I was doing, right? And so that would be that but i think now that i'm streaming i'm just gonna put okay because it's kind of needed but you know it'd be happy okay but the driver's a wanker you're planning a house party you think about telling your neighbors <laughs> you think about it make sure you got enough chairs find out what the cheapest vodka is plan which games to play um okay if you think about telling your neighbors it means likely you're not gonna tell them right <laughs> Find out what the cheapest vodka is. I wouldn't throw a house party. Like, I, 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 I so, I don't really know, like. <laughs> um, although, when I did have visitors the other day, I did prepare my Switch with, um, I've got this board games thing on it, and I've got a Mario party on it, and I did make sure that that was correct. So, maybe actually plan which games to play. <laughs> It wasn't quite a house party, but you know, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Um, I planned games just in case it got boring, you know what I mean? You see someone falling in the street? Oh my God, do you laugh? Yes, always, 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 always. Run over to make sure they're okay. Thank the heavens it wasn't you. Shake your head and think Muppet. I laugh, dude. There wasn't, okay, I was once walking down the street and I was getting, I, okay, the thing is, where's the, where's the option of laugh and ask if they're okay at the same time? Because normally I'll do that, you know? Like I will, I will laugh and see if they're okay. If it's a friend, then I'll do it at the same time. If it's not, then I'll giggle under my breath and then maybe see if they're okay after that. You know, it depends how close I am to them too. Like, like in the street, like in the street. I remember when I saw an old woman fall over and it was really funny. Anyway, laugh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, there you go. 